So I did a thing. Did it last year too. A little harbor freight panel I had left over. I'm playing around with something. Insulated the whole trailer. I think it's an inch and a half all the way around. Maybe it was an inch all the way around, inch and a half ceiling. I did a one inch and a half inch piece of solid foam. And then some uh, cool seal up top. It stays pretty cool in there. Was going to use it for a camper. But I went with option C. But I got the trailer for a good deal. Hardly used. And I needed somewhere to keep my motorcycles. So. I just threw that panel up there. Because I got a fan. On this doors off Amazon pretty nice but yeah that one solar panel just runs that fantastic fan all day no battery no charge controller nothing it's enough to keep it cool in here it's 80 degrees in Florida right now and certainly no hotter in this trailer because of that fan circulation you can haul to small motorcycles in here just got that tongue and groove took me like a me and my wife a day to peel back these panels put the insulation and then another day to put this roof up just jimmied it up there with a little bit of material not much but yeah no i mean you can I just got the wires run down out the bottom. You can definitely hook it to a battery on a trip, but during the day, during the week, when I'm not using it, it's a neat trick. Uncomplicated, no wear and tear. It hardly works that motor at all, but it's certainly plenty enough to keep it cool. And at night, when moisture is out you really don't want the circulation you want that drier air to stay in there so I find it perfect hottest part of the day when the sun's out it gets plenty of ventilation a solid little trick for uh, something that you really shouldn't do